Hello and welcome, welcome back to another Tube Buddy live stream. Come on in here, everyone. Roll in. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, we've got an awesome stream going on today. We're going to do question and answer coming from you guys. We're going to do some channel reviews. We're going to do all sorts of really, really fun stuff. Um, Andrew is going to go ahead and drop the link for the question and answer page. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up on my end as well. Um, I hope you guys have noticed I've got a nice little snazzy border around me here, um, trying some some uh, so, some new stuff here and, and, and doing some really fun stuff. We got people coming in from Louisiana, Arizona, Arkansas, the UK. We've got people coming in from all over the world. Atlanta, Hotlanta, that's really close to where I am. So uh, that is awesome. Uh, so excited to see you guys here. I'm gonna fix a few things uh, on my end here as you guys kind of keep rolling in. Uh, hope you all had a wonderful uh, and blessed uh, Thanksgiving going into the Christmas season. I'm so excited. I love this time of year. Uh, my daughter's birthday um, is actually on Christmas Day. Um, so we've got a very, very busy Christmas season coming up. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely want to wish you a, a happy uh, Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas from all of us here um, on, on the Tube Buddy team. So, uh, did anyone did anyone get anything cool uh, for Black Friday? Did anyone get anything on Black Friday that can help them uh, on their YouTube journey? So, anyone get anyone uh, in anything cool like a microphone, a new video camera? I actually got myself a few different things. A lot of SD cards were on sale, so I got some of those. Got an external uh, hard drive as well. Um, I also got uh, the biggest thing I had is a new uh, a new gimbal, so a handheld gimbal for when I go out and do things like that. Uh, fantastic new camera, C920. I've been using that one forever, still using it. Even though I have the 4K one that I'm still trying to tinker with, um, so we're kind of I'm still playing around with that. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, I'm using uh, I've got a new microphone setting, condensing it a little differently today. Hopefully you guys can uh, can hear me uh, mighty fine. So again, don't, don't forget today we're going to be doing um, not only we're going to be doing questions and answers, but we're also going to be doing channel reviews where I go, uh, I take care of uh, looking at your channel, seeing what I I kind of would change if that was me running from uh, running your channel. So definitely go check that out. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dustin. Porter. I'm the host of a couple of different podcasts. I host the YouTube Creators Hub podcast, um, which is a podcast where I interview, basically I interview creators like yourself. Uh, like yesterday, I had a young man, uh, 17 years old, had him, him and his dad on, and I talk with them about their YouTube channel. I talk with them about things like that and uh, and go go from there. So uh, so basically, channel reviews, we'll kind of do a review scale. You know, Again, if you want me to review your channel understand that it will be critiqued I will talk about different things about your channel that I think you could do better uh, and I do want to say this that uh, I do not think my channel is perfect I know I would probably give my channel a B right now uh, as I'm continuing to tweak and change things uh, but again you will be critiqued uh, publicly so if that's something that might hurt your uh, hurt your feelings or something like that then definitely uh, definitely don't submit your channel for for review um, also would like to uh, remind you that uh, Andrew is such a, a great stream host, all right? We, we call ourselves the host, but really it's Andrew doing all the behind the scenes work. So uh, don't forget to click on that link there in chat. And uh, I would love to, to kind of see uh, the different questions rolling in will kind of will we'll kind of come in and out of Q and A and channel reviews as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up on my end, so I can go ahead and see the different questions that may be coming in. If you have, oh wow, we've got a ton of questions coming in already. Uh, I guess now that we're doing a, a just a strictly uh, strictly Q and A, I guess it's going to be something that, uh, that that comes in here. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a summary here of people who have asked and answered the questions. So I can pull those up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the first question here. We'll go ahead and knock some of these questions out. Uh, that way we can kind of get into the channel reviews, see what's going on. 
All right. Uh, if you're going to ask questions like how to increase subs, how to get more views, uh, please don't ask those questions. I want something more deep. Uh, I want something more, I guess you would say, less generic um, and go from there. So the first question comes in from DR Tech Studio. How to find keyword topics that low competitors but have high search volume. Uh, the, the thing that I love doing there is I use the keyword, uh, the Google AdWords tool. Um, it's a great tool that you can use and it basically will show you uh, everything you want to, want to see as far as you know things keywords that that may be uh low the the competitive nature may not be there it may not be a high competitive keyword but it may be searched a ton right uh, and the adword tool is not used for just that right so the ad google adwords tool is used for other people such as people who have e-commerce sites people running uh, businesses wanting to to make sales online the adword tool adwords tool will help them to do that as well uh, so if you're if you want to find out keywords that are you know low on the competitive scale and then high on the, uh, the the nature of search results, right? You want search volume. So what you really want is high search volume, and then you want low, low competitive nature as far as people being competitive for that word, right? Uh, and it works the same because, again, YouTube, Google, they're one and the same, right? YouTube's owned by Google, so that means that uh, anything being searched or, or any data being gathered by the AdWords system uh, will definitely go from there. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Next question coming in from... Uh, let's see here, Mutant Potato. What do I do if I get stuck at a certain number or amount of subscribers? Um, this is a great question. Again, it's not a. It, it's it's still somewhat generic, but. I want to answer this question because a lot of people ask me, what if I get stuck? I'm at like 80 subs or 100 you know, subs or 10,000 subscribers. What do I do to, to, to bust through that plateau? Well, there's a, a couple of things that there's a couple of things that I would say to you guys who are wanting to do that. So here's the deal. You've probably been doing the same thing over and over and over again. So with all of that being said, I would like to to, to, to encourage you to do new things. Um, so something that I'm working on in the new year where I primarily do tutorials, I want to start getting into more hardware reviews and doing things like that on my technology channel. And so I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm going to be trying something new. Um, you know, whereas, you know, I'm upwards of almost 200,000 subscribers now, uh, you know, I, I don't decrease in subs. I'm, you know, always increasing, but it's always the same amount. I want to take it to the next level. Um, and, and because of that, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. Um, and so if that's something that you want to do, definitely, definitely go check that out. All right. So next question coming in today from Awesome Andre. Uh, how do you get your video on watch next or recommended? There's a lot of different things and techniques and tact tactics to do that. So if you don't know what he's talking about, so if we like go to this specific video here, which is kind of my last live stream, uh, right here you're going to see something here that says up next or watch next, like these videos here. Uh, what you're going to have to do is a few different things. So number one, you need to be utilizing playlists. So um, if you have playlist in in uh, enabled on your channel, which you should, right? I've got podcasts about that. Uh, all of our streamers here on TubeBuddy have done videos on that. So with all of that being said, if that's something that you're interested in doing and getting into that section on beside the, the video that you're watching into what watch next, utilize playlist, utilize the keywords that are specific to those specific videos that you've seen. And then basically it's not that it's luck, but you know, as your videos do better, uh, as you get more watch time, your videos will then begin to populate on that feature. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and dive into a, a channel review. So if you want to uh, to do a channel review, I'm not sure, Andrew, what the best way to, to kind of get all of those people in as far as the people who want to get channel reviews. I know there's going to be a ton of people uh, who want that. So um, we'll kind of figure out how we how we do that. Um, so let's go ahead and tackle one uh, one of these uh, people who have already been interested in, in, in doing a channel review. Um, all right. So the first channel review that we're going to do is we will go ahead and go and do Bin, Bindas Games. Uh, he wanted a channel review. So we're going to go ahead and go and check 
click on okay i'll choose so andrew is going to choose right so we're gonna go ahead and let andrew choose and then uh bindas games we'll get back to you here very shortly um so andrew's gonna choose and send those to me and just to keep it kind of uh just to keep it kind of uh easier to, to take a look at so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at patrick's channel so i'm gonna go ahead and try and find it here uh andrew if you will throw those in the in the the chat that would be fantastic uh as it would be easier for me to uh to to, to link so we'll do patrick and then bindas gaming next so andrew if you'll go ahead and throw me those links to make it a little easier um to, to do it that way um so as andrew is sending me those links over uh i can it just makes it easier because the strat the, the the stream is going so fast so as we're waiting on those channel links to come in to me i am going to uh, go ahead and answer the next question next question coming in from let's see here a Mel 100 the metal channel uh hey dusty i seem to be not tagging my music videos the right way do you have any tips for me um a Mel, i would need to look at your videos um it would need to when it comes to music videos, I would do the, the genre. Uh, I would do the, the the people in you know the types of music you're doing. Uh, maybe even a, a beat, you know the the beats per minute, or you know just something very in in tune with what the music is. Uh, and look at other people's stuff, right? So TubeBuddy allows you to look at other people's tags that are doing music videos. Check out other people's music videos, see how they're tagging them, and then apply that to uh, to yours. So all right, so let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, at Patrick's channel. So. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull his channel up on the screen here and take a look and see um, at what Patrick has going on. So we're going to go ahead and adjust my screen just slightly here, and then we're going to go ahead and pull Patrick's channel on over here. All right, so let's take a look at what Patrick has here going on. Again, guys, I'm not being critical. Uh, I really am trying to help you guys out, help you improve. So first thing I always look at is the channel banner, channel artwork, and as well as the profile image. Uh, I can see here the profile image is kind of a cartoon effect uh, with Patrick's face there and some branding behind it with the games that he does and talks about there. Uh, the uh, FE Heroes, I assume that's uh, Fire Emblem Heroes there, which is a game that he probably does a lot of content around. Uh, um, so all of that looks really good. Um, I probably maybe would do a little more branding around myself up here, Patrick. Um, as far as that goes, the, the name, again, it, not that your name's not easy to say, uh, but you would probably want to kind of do a little more branding in your channel artwork around your name. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video list here to kind of see what he's doing here. Thumbnails look good. It looks like you're branding them all the same. You've got your face there with a nice reaction uh, text on top of that. Uh, one thing I would recommend, Patrick, is maybe doing a border around the thumbnails. A lot of times... Times I've found this to be very, very helpful for me. It helps your video show up better in search. It's almost like it's being highlighted. Um, so as you can see here, you've got your thumbnails that are looking very branded, very good. Uh, your face in yourself is kind of up in forefront. I really like that. You're using a nice big font. Um, I call this font Babus New. I'm not sure exactly which font you're using, uh, but I really love that big, bold font. Very, very easy to look at. Uh, definitely something that, you, that you're doing really well. Under playlist let's see what you got going on here you've got liked videos win more fire emblem you probably could be doing more on the playlist side of things maybe uh, doing a better job titling them going back to the question i just answered if you want to come up in the suggested search results you may want to do a better job with your playlist like this one here fire emblem heroes videos by deltran these are other people's kind of uh, cumulative videos into a playlist uh fire emblem heroes best builds and unit reviews so you you are doing that like this one here is 59 videos um Norm, normally what I like to do is keep the, the playlist to around 12 to 15 videos. Um, and so with, with that being said, I would probably try to optimize that a little better for search um, and, and kind of go with there. But man, Patrick, you're doing a really good job under channels here. You've got a bunch of recommended channels. I like that. Under your about section, uh, sharing my interest in making a fool of myself, hopefully for your gain. Yeah, definitely would want you to do more stuff here. Um, you've got links here to your Reddit, to your picks, but definitely definitely want to do more here as far as text, right? You definitely want to see more uh, information uh, about to kind of where you are. Maybe even linked to be more, uh, links to be more, uh, to get people from your YouTube channel to something else that you're working on. Um, so, wow, Patrick, you're doing a great job. Uh, I, I've actually played Fire Emblem Heroes before, um, so uh, that's a fun game. You're doing some great work there. Let's take a look at the video quality here before I give him a grade. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. Let's go ahead and mute this here. 
uh, so I can kind of hear it myself. So you've got yourself here on the webcam here, Patrick, and you also got the game coming up here. I'm not sure how you're capturing your mobile device, but you might want to do more of a uh, your, yourself over here. And I kind of see the, the chat going on here where you can do live chat, things like that. Um, I like kind of the, 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 the breakdown of kind of how you're doing your videos, but I assume you're probably doing them all like this, very similar to this. Let me go and check out another one here. This is more of a channel update video. Looks like your your video quality is really, really good. Your audio, let's see how... Yep, your audio sounds to be really good as well. As you can see, he's doing a really good job. Maybe do a little more branding here. Let's see how you're doing with your cards. You're doing a really good job. If I were to give you a letter grade, um, I would say... Yeah, sorry, that got really loud. I apologize. Patrick's voice was booming, right? If I were to give you a letter grade here, I would say a B-, minus, right? A B, B- minus or a B+. Plus. Um, in that, you know, I think you've done a really good job branding yourself. I think maybe I understand if you're in the gaming niche, you probably want to branch out to other games. You don't want to get solely, uh, you don't want to rely solely on a game, right? I was listening and talking to a really big YouTuber in the mobile space, uh, one of my clients a, a week ago today, and they were talking about me, uh, uh, talking about their channel really declining because of the popularity of the game. Like, look at like a, a game like Pokemon Go or a game that's very popular. You don't want to put all of your eggs into one basket. You you, you want to uh, diversify yourself. So definitely, definitely check it out and go from there. So awesome awesome stuff but patrick you are doing a really good job my friend uh keep doing keep putting up uh putting in the time and the effort and you're going to continue uh on on the path i mean you already got over a thousand subscribers you're doing something right my friend all right next one is going to be ben das games um so we're going to go ahead and take a look at mr ben das games i possibly could be saying that wrong and if i am uh please forgive me so let's go ahead and take a look at ben das games here we go uh, Dusty, if I want to diversify, should I do separate channels? Patrick is asking. Probably, I don't know. You've already grown this channel to to a, a, basically to a thousand subscribers. I would stick. I would stick to it, right? I would stick to uh, uh, to doing kind of what you're doing, but maybe uh, staying in the mobile space, right? Staying in the mobile genre, uh, but moving on to new games that are popular and, and are hyped up at the moment. So, all right, Bindas Games, a uh, very, uh, very small channel here. Uh, Bindas Games, you have your logo here, very small text. Definitely want to do something about your profile image. Sure, I can see it now. I'm on a very high definition screen. I can see kind of what you're doing there, uh, but definitely want to to kind of not that the logo is bad. But but you definitely want it to be to be larger. Um, maybe even your name, right? Like, explain what your name is about. Like, let's go to your about section. There's no nowhere in your. I mean, you do you have your logo here. It looks really nice. You've done some really good Photoshop work here. But maybe do some more branding around yourself. One of the things that I like about, and one of the things that make gaming YouTubers stand out, uh, like Patrick was doing there, the previous channel that we just looked at, he was branding it around himself. He would have his face in the thumbnails. Uh, that's something you want to do to build and grow a community. Uh, so in the about section here, uh, it's, it's formatted a little weird. Um, I'm a, I'm a big stickler on formatting with text. Um, so like right here you have checkout, which is kind of center aligned or not even centered. And then you have kind of another segment here. Definitely check that out. Uh, ben Das, kind of see kind of what you're doing uh, with that and definitely change your formatting. Uh, there's no links here, uh, no links in your channel uh, artwork either, uh, which again will be the same links. But you need to be linking outside to be a website, to be an affiliate, whatever uh, it, it needs to be. Um, let's see here. And again, one of the things that's sticking with me is that the tiny text on, on this here is really hard to see. You might want to put that up here bigger in your channel artwork if that's something that, that you can do. Let's take a look at your videos kind of see what we got going on here it seems like you're a very new youtuber which is great i love people just starting out uh, but it looks like you're posting a lot of content that really is just videos or video content from other gaming kind of i guess you would say platforms uh so again definitely you want it to be more your content uh, and definitely voice over on top of that. Uh, thumbnails are good, but again, there's really no theme or branding there. Um, definitely check that out, kind of see where you're at there. And you have popular channels here in the gaming space. One of the things I've found to be beneficial for gamers is to basically utilize or post links to other channels that are more in their kind of realm of subscribers and people getting started. Uh, yeah, linking to PewDiePie is great, but everybody already knows who he is. So definitely check that out. Uh, again, you're a new YouTuber, so I don't want to be too harsh, but if I were to give you a letter grade Ben Dos Game, 
mean, it would be a C minus or a D. Uh, definitely, you want to continue to improve. Uh, you've, you've got some pretty good Photoshop skills, it looks like, uh, but definitely improve your logo. Definitely improve the formatting in your About Me section and kind of go from there. So, awesome. Next, we have... Um, let's see here. I believe this channel here is going to be, I'm trying to pull it up here. That is Patrick's channel there. And then the next one we have is going to be, uh, the next channel review is going to be your real estate whisperer. Um, she comes in here and talks a lot uh, during the streams, has some great advice. Um, I really love some stuff that she's doing. So let's go ahead and review her channel here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what he, she has to offer here. Let me just make sure everything is pulling up here, making sure everything is right. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Um, your real estate whisperer. So the first thing I would say here, it looks like the logo here, your real estate is very small and whisperer, it kind of almost gets cut off here. One of the things that I like to see when I am going to a YouTube channel is everything that kind of fits nice and neat into your banner and, and profile image. So like right here, you'd probably want to move that up a little bit. I kind of get this here. You've got the house here, uh, the heart, uh, because you matter. You're, you're making it about them. Um, I love that. I, I do. I, I love that. And I think that you're making it about the, the person consuming your content. And because of that, you're going to get a lot of uh, people wanting to come back to your channel. But I would definitely want to uh, improve the, the logo here. So you got the hands here, you got the heart here. There's a lot of different random colors kind of going on there. So definitely look into your logo uh, and kind of try to improve upon that. But other than, than that, as far as the branding, I really like how you have your face here, branding it here. Uh, you have a, a really nice picture of yourself as the profile image. Uh, and let's just kind of take a look at your videos, kind of see kind of what you're doing. So the most recent videos he, video here um, is yourself and probably your family. Ooh, I like that. You got a nice little intro there with your logo logo coming up on that. Uh, see, you're probably using iMovie uh, or, or possibly Final Cut. Uh, audio sounds good. Video, this one's a little dark, but again, I'd have to watch more of your videos to kind of see uh, more about kind of what you're doing. Uh, the descriptions, the formatting. Again, I hate to be a stickler for formatting, uh, but go right here and, and delete this white space. Uh, if you are going to use links, definitely shorten them with Google uh, links, which you are doing here. Uh, looks like you're including all of your kind of ingredients for what's going on in this specific video. Uh, you've got your address here with your email for people coming and getting in touch with you. I do love that. Um, again, you've got some, some kind of community going on here down in the comments section. Uh, let's take a look at your about section. You got a little thank you video here a week ago. You reached 100 subs. That's awesome. Congratulations. Um, the about section. Um, you've got a nice little paragraph here about you. You've got a, 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 a email address and a website here. You probably want to link your website in your links. It gives it a, a easier way to clicking and to, to going off onto to your thing. Uh, but uh, it's awesome. Uh, I think you've got some really good stuff going on here. Let's check out playlists. See what you got going on here. Yeah, you could do some more work here in playlists. Seems like to me you're throwing them all into one kind of playlist. But if I were to give you a review, I would say a B minus or a B plus. Uh, you've already got 100 subs. You're well on your way. Fix some formatting issues here. I'm not sure if the green and blue tree uh, background is 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 what you kind of want to go with. Uh, but kind of definitely definitely take a look at that. And then as far as the thumbnails go, uh, the improvement that I would do is I would make your images here, like you see here, full screen, and then highlight them with a very thin line around them if you want to use that blue. Um, go with that. So curious what he's drinking. I'm drinking water. It's You got to stay hydrated, especially when you're talking as much as you do on a live stream. So yeah, it seems like you're kind of slapping the the image on top of that blue background. Um, I would kind of make the image the full thumbnail and then go around it with a, a possible highlight. So definitely check that out. All right, guys, we're definitely going to do more channel reviews here shortly. Uh, but right now I'm going to go back and answer a few questions because I did have a ton of those coming in. So let's go over to the questions. Wow, we've got a ton of questions coming in. You guys are just awesome, awesome today. Um, 
Gaming for good. My wife thinks TubeBuddy might hurt our channel, but I see YouTube experts recommend TubeBuddy. I'm confused. Is TubeBuddy safe? TubeBuddy is 100% safe. It is just a browser plugin that is utilizing YouTube's API that just helps you make your, basically, that just helps you make your uh, life easier. I mean, it's seriously just a tool to make your life easier. Um, is it safe? Yes. Now, I mean, could something happen to your channel that is related to YouTube? Yeah, but it's not going to be because of, uh, of, of TubeBuddy. Tube, TubeBuddy is extremely safe. Um, and I would recommend it to anyone, whether you are a smaller YouTuber or a larger creator. Uh, definitely, definitely safe. Uh, next question. Man, we got a ton of questions today. Don Moody. Brian G. in his book says there is upload checklist we can follow. I cannot find them on TubeBuddy. Any help there? So when you go to upload a video, I'm not sure if I can show it on this specific. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to show it here. Um, there is a video that Andrew did that will show you exactly kind of kind of where. Well, I may be able to find it here. Let me just take a look and see. Uh, Andrew, if you can help me navigate, um, a lot of times doing this live, it's hard to navigate exactly to to, to kind of where you want to go. Uh, but yeah, there there. Let's see here. Best time to publish video topic planner. Uh, let's see here. There there. When you go to upload, it should be on the right hand side, basically. Um, let's see here where it should be. Um, I'll come back to it as, as Andrew's kind of, he's typing now and I can kind of show you exactly where that's going to be. Uh, two buddy drop down and then choose health report. Yes. Yeah, so let's go to health report here. Uh, the two buddy, I'm, af I'm afraid to sign in. If I go to the dashboard what I'm, what I'm afraid will happen, uh, is it will log me off and then the stream will be, uh, will, will kind of go away. But if you go to the health report, which is where I just went, uh, and then go to the da the two buddy dashboard under settings, you will see it there. I'm just really afraid to, to sign in. Cause I'm afraid it'll, the, the, the Google login system is really weird and I just don't want it to throw me off or throw me offline on the live stream. Cause we got a lot of questions, a lot of good stuff happening right now. Almost a hundred people in here. You you guys are showing some love today. Uh, really appreciate you guys stopping by. But yes, uh, Don, there there is an upload checklist, not just from Brian, but from Roberto and Daryl and some other great uh, people who you definitely want to want to check out. Uh, Joez Codes One Zero One asks, how can I make my videos more engaging? Number one, speak up. Number two, be passionate. And number three, just love what you're doing, right? If you're passionate and love what you're doing, it's going to come off as more engaging. Maybe find a stitch, a, a stitch, right? Like, uh, are you funny? Do you have an opening intro joke? Do you have a, a fun thing that you do? Do you wear a silly hat or a silly shirt every time you come on? Something to make your, your, your content more engaging. And then secondly, or I said secondly already, fourth, I think, on the list is ask your, ask your community a question. So basically what I mean by that is like at the end of your video or at the middle of the video, say, hey, stick around towards the end of this video and I've got a question I want to ask you guys to get your input on the next video. Click here, right? And then have them go with there. Um, so again, that's kind of what I would do. Uh, got one more question, then we're going to go back to doing channel reviews. We've got tons of questions this week. It's unbelievable. You guys are, are ready to hit it hard going into the new year. I love it. I love it. Um, so, uh, don't forget it, the people that we're picking for channel reviews. It all depends on your input in chat. And it also depends on if, if Andrew thinks you're kind of inputting and giving good advice and, and good questions and good input into chat. Don't spam good input. Fortnite Academy asks, how many after how many days or weeks did YouTube processing my similar channels? Actually, I have that tab activated, but are some couple of channels which are not having similar content. Um, again, that's all algorithm based. I don't know how all of that works. Uh, it's probably after a, a, a few months, I would assume you'd want to to put in some some content there before you can do that. Uh, but I'm not sure how that actually works um, because I would need to kind of dive deeper into that to kind of see how that works. So, all right, we're going to dive into the next channel review here. Um, all right, who do we have coming up next? Next, we have the realist idealist. I love it. Man, what a name. Love that name. We're going to go ahead and drag him over here, make him full screen, take a look at what he's doing. All right, number one, I love the branding, right? Uh, the realist idealist. I love it. Got it marked through here. Conscious self-development. I know exactly what it's about as soon as I get to the channel. Um, the uh, video quality is top notch. Um, that's amazing. Um, the, th the, the profile image is fantastic. Uh, very minimal up here, which people don't understand. Sometimes less is more. Um, so he's already surpassed the 1,000 subscribers mark. Um, that is amazing. Uh, thumbnails look really good. Let's take a look at your video list. Check out your thumbnails. Doing a really good job with thumbnails. Uh, again, maybe... Uh, 
I, I really hate to say this, but I mean, on your thumbnails, you're you're doing you've got such high quality. I can tell you're a designer. You're doing a really good job. Uh, the the branding is simple, yet it's like Andrew said in the, in the chat. It's effective. I love it. Uh, and if I'm going to watch one of your videos. Uh, which I'm going to do now. Look at that quality. Look at that video quality. That's super, super nice quality of video. You're tagging your videos well. Um, you're, 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 you know, adding some, some community and some dialogue here at the bottom with, with chatting with, you, with, you know, below the video. Uh, and if I go to the suggested videos, this is so important, right? If I'm watching one of his videos, if I go to the up next or kind of suggested video section, I can already tell which ones are from him without even looking at, at his name. That is awesome. Uh, the branding on the thumbnails just absolutely pop, and the editing is super nice. Let's listen to the audio. Okay, so we're stuck on the body before I get into the story. Yeah, so if there's only if there if there is one thing that I would say, um, basically what it would be is that with your audio, it sounds to me like I'm not sure how you're doing it. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't really know your name right now, but I'm just going to call you uh, Realist. Uh, Realist, I don't know uh, what you're doing for audio. If you're using a lapel mic or if you're using a boom mic or an arm or if you're just using like a road mic on top of your video camera, uh, one of the things that I would do, it, it sounds to me like I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a little bit of background noise. But other than that, uh, the, the color grading of your video as a videographer is really, really popping onto the screen. I love that. Uh, but definitely take a look at your audio, see if you can improve that. Um, again, I'm just kind of looking. Here it is. This is what I love to see. Look at this thing. It is formatted so nicely here. My purpose. First of all, I believe that we can co all consciously empower one another to enlighten the world to you. Man, you've got it formatted nicely. Uh You've got to, you know, ask him questions. You got your email address. You got your website, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I love it. I love it. You've got uh, featured channels over here. Let's take a look at your channel analytics. Kind of take a look at what's going on here. And you can tell, right? I mean, you can tell. Like no wonder, man. You, you're 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 killing it right now. I mean, almost 200 subs a day. That's awesome. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. 85 videos. Doing a fantastic job, job, job. What? <laughs> so go check his channel out if you want. To, I would definitely, I'd give him an A right now. Uh, I would, I would uh, definitely give him an A minus. Possibly, only thing I would work on is your audio. Um, definitely check that out. Um, good stuff, man. 200, 200 a day though. That's impressive. It's really, really impressive. All right. And I like that you, right, he's, he's got a niche, right? Like the realist idealist, like that's creative. That's something that like, I, I love that. Like with my channel called The Technology Guru, like I want to be the guru of tech. I want to make it easy. I want to make it fun. Uh, I, I, need, I need to come up with, uh, with, with something a little more catchy like the realist idealist. Uh, when you can intro a video like, hey guys, what's going on everyone? This is the realist idealist, right? Like that just flows. It goes well. It just sounds professional. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, uh, what do we have here? The next channel I am going to be looking at is Beirut, Beirut 00. All right, let's take a look at what he's got going on here. All right, first thing I would say is branding. Nature, wildlife, memorials, shout outs. Number one, the white text gets really washed out with the snow on the trees. So look into that, kind of see what's going on there. Um, next, I would say the little picture of an owl here. Maybe it's your mascot. I don't know, but I'd put your face there or some type of branding. Uh, definitely take a look at that. Um, as far as your videos go and your thumbnails, uh, as we just mentioned with the Realist Idealist, see how he, he kind of kept it very streamlined. Uh, definitely take a look at, at this here. There's really no rhyme or reason. I mean, I get it. You're, you're, you're making videos about news events and doing some vlogging stuff and talking about YouTube demonetization. There's really no kind of streamlined system of what your channel is about, right? Um, like when I go to other people's channel, I want to take a look and I want to know right off the bat, oh, this channel is about technology. This is a gaming check, tech, uh, channel. Um, so, you know, definitely check, check, you know, kind of improve there. Uh, under playlist here, you got a little playlist happy. Uh, seems to me like you've got a playlist for everything. A lot of these playlists have one or two videos in them. Definitely check that out. Um, underneath your about section, let's take a look again. Uh, you can also catch me on VidMe. You got one link here, Google Plus, which probably is the least visited social network. Um, do a little more with your About Me section. You've already got 1.7 subs, so you're doing something right. So the content might be fun or interesting. So let's take a look at kind of one of your videos and kind of see what uh, what, what you have going on here. So 
so yeah, it looks like you're kind of this video's Sunday surprise shout outs, people talking about you. Uh, maybe that's not the best video to to kind of look at. Um, here's a kind of a news video here. See how you do it. Sounds like to me you're doing like slideshow videos without any type of like voiceover or anything like that. Uh, I would probably do more voiceover, make it about you. Again, how can people get excited about a channel if they don't know who's behind the channel, right? Like you get to see all of our faces on TubeBuddy, right? Uh, every every week we do a live stream with somebody, uh, a, a great man or woman come on here and we talk about things. So definitely do a little better of job branding. If I were to give you a grade right now, probably a, a D right now, uh, just because your branding is a little off the off kind of going on. Uh, but definitely check out what you can do with your branding and, and your thumbnails as well as possibly don't get so... Uh, playlist happy uh, so that's kind of what I would do there um, next we have another channel let's see here what other channel are we going with next sparkle always sparkle always all right so we got a channel coming in here sparkle always let's take a look at her channel um, the image up here the 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 I call it the banner image. Definitely, you want to kind of take a look and see what more you can do with that. Um, because number one, like Sparkle isn't even in the the image here, unless unless it's just kind of blown. It's just kind of blown up. Um, Sparkle always is is a fun name, and I, I like that you have a, a nice qual high quality image of your face here. Again, you can brand it around yourself. Um, your your videos look like you only have uh, two two videos, and you uploaded those two months ago. So again, if you want to grow a YouTube channel, you definitely want to stay consistent. Um, is 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 definitely take a look at that and kind of see kind of what you're doing with that. Um, underneath your about section here, you've got nothing uh you, you know th this is this this channel seems to be very new um and so uh for sparkle i won't even rate you just yet because i want you to get some more uh you know life under you uh, get some more time under you some more videos under your belt and and definitely take a look at kind of what you can do uh but uh but congratulations on the channel and, and getting started with 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 what you're doing there uh next we have a channel let's see here Next channel review is going to be Heal, Please Heal. All right, so I'll call it HPH, right? <laughs> heal, Please Heal. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to say is for your profile banner image, way, way, way too much text. Um, sick kids up here, extra life. Again, the colors are really off. Um, and even this font it's taking me a, a, I have to really focus in on it. Um, I really have to really focus in on it to really read. Like December 22nd, 2017, 24-hour charity holiday stream. I really have to look at it a lot to, to, to see what it is. So I know you say that's not your usual one, but even if it's just like uh, for a specific time of year, I would do a little, I, I would do it differently than that. Um, heal, please heal. You've got really small text here. Uh, it looks like here you've got really high quality video quality. So I would probably put your face up here. Take a look at, at kind of putting your face here, branding it around you, uh, kind of where you are. Uh, and your thumbnails are, it looks like they're kind of all over the place. Um, uh, I, I get it. You know, as a gaming YouTuber, you know, you've got playthroughs here that are kind of similar. Uh, that, that seems very nice. Some of the text is very small. Um, I would think your, your, your thumbnails could be branded a little more um, around you. But, yeah, I, I see uh, Hexpa in chat says, use that face, man. Yeah, definitely use your face. Uh, but the thumbnails are all over the place. Kind of see what you can do to kind of uh, streamline that. Uh, on your About section, let's see what you got. Um, let's see. One day, I, mean, I like your About section. you got a Discord channel linked here. I like that. Um, get your email address, Twitch account, a uh, bunch of links here. Maybe decrease the amount of leaks, links here. Maybe keep it to three or four. People get confused. Oh, do I go here? Do I go here? You want them to kind of hone in on where you want them to go. Um, so let's take a look here. Yeah, so definitely take a look at that. Let's look at your video quality here on a playthrough or a video. So yeah, you got your your, your, your webcam here. Game qu game quality looks really good. So uh, I guess for you, uh, Heal, HPH, is, is definitely take a look at your branding, see what you can do. Uh, and it's beautiful for you because you're on Twitch, right? So you can use your branding on YouTube and, and take it over and transition it over to Twitch as well and have it kind of really streamlined. That's kind of what I would look at. Uh, next one, we got a, let's see here. Next channel review, we got one coming in from Super Jess TV. I love it. I love it. All right, so Super Jess. Let's take a look at her channel. I believe it's a her. Yep, it is a her. 
All right, Jess, I like your name, Super Jess TV. You got a picture of yourself here. I like that. Maybe even blow that up a little bit, bring your face more to the center and the forefront. It looks like you're a little cut off there, but again, it may be the style you're going for, and that's fine too. Uh, probably too much text up here and a lot of white background. You can do a lot more with this. Maybe even add some, some patterns in the background here. Don't go too crazy with that though, Jess. I do like the simplicity of it. Um, the big text up here is really nice. New videos every week, Latina vlogger, fitness motivation, mom lifestyle, vegan life, plus more. I know who you're about, uh, but it is a little bit uh, bare uh, as far as that goes, but I do like the name of your channel. I like the way you're branding it. Um, as far as your thumbnails and what's going on there, um, looks like you've got some text, like this text here, a family tries vegan. I really got to look into it. Um, as far as that goes, um, the, 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 the screen that I'm looking at is huge, right? I got a huge, I got two, two or three monitors here so I can blow it up and take a look. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the, the text is definitely a little small. Um, I would kind of work on that and try to streamline your, um, your thumbnail. Something I would do, uh, Jess, is actually try to find a way to, to, to get a nice logo made, maybe on Fiverr, um, or maybe on um, Upwork or something like that and, and kind of brand maybe a, a JTV, right, for Jess TV and then kind of brand it as a logo and then kind of put that on all of your thumbnails. That way people know uh, kind of what videos they're watching and if they're going from one video to another, they'll kind of know uh, what's going on. So let's go to this video here, take a look kind of what's going on. Uh, this is about her, what she ate during a day. Looks like the quality is really nice of your video. This one's a little dark here, but again, I have to watch more of your videos. Um, let's see the audio. Audio seems pretty good too. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. Let's take a look at uh, your about section here. Um, just a girl living a simple life. This channel just happened although. Yeah, you get your email address here. Maybe you wanna do a little more uh, as far as letting people know um, uh, of kind of what you're about. You got links to your channel, Instagram and Twitter. I like that. Um, playlist, let's see kind of what you're doing here with playlist. Maybe do a little more with playlist here. It does look like you get workout Wednesdays. Looks like you've kind of updating them recently. So yeah, you're doing a good job with playlists there. Uh, I'll probably give you a B or a B plus. Uh, right now, Jess, you're doing a really good job, but uh, let's take a look at your channel. Let's kind of see what's going on there. Um, yeah, I mean, you're getting... Let's see, I mean, you're, you're doing pretty good. Looks like the past recent, the past couple of days, doing a really, really good job. I am really impressed. Uh, yeah, so I messed up the uh, earlier when I was <laughs> I was saying that uh, I, I don't know how many uh, the idealist real the realist idealist I don't know how many subs you were really getting I I, I said you were getting like a 200 that's the TubeBuddy buddy channel uh, I was looking at the wrong thing there I apologize uh, but you you were still doing you're still killing it um, but yeah so you're doing some good stuff there Jess just keep doing some uh, keep keep doing more stuff and keep improving and, and stay consistent. Um, let's see here. All right. The next one is hard to keep track. You guys are killing it today. Thank you so much. Um, what do we have here? Beanie draws, man, Beanie. Welcome back. He is a regular here in the two buddy chat. Let me get a, a swig of water here before I dive into Beanie, Beanie's channel. All right. So disclaimer, right? So obviously with, uh, with his channel here, he is an artist. Uh, a good artist, I'm, I might add, um, and so it's got a, he's got a really cool image up here. Beanie draws really big up here with the two dinosaurs fighting. I like that. It's got a kind of car cartoon. Um, what's up, Jaden? Welcome to the chat, man. He's got a kind of a, a caricature of himself here with the pencil, really big, really nice with a yellow background. I like that. Really cool avatar. Um, his thumbnails are all about the hand drawings that he does. Like, see how he does his, his thumbnails? Uh, the only thing I would say, Beanie, if, if just glancing at it, maybe a little too much text. Um, I like the, the vertical text here. Uh, then you also put horizontal text. Maybe kind of play around and see, kind of A-B test some thumbnails, see kind of what works best for you. Um, what else? Yeah, maybe a little too much text on some of these thumbnails. Um, but I've watched a couple of his videos before just because of how recent you know he's chatting. Uh, his audio quality, I'm not sure what mic you're using, Beanie. I'd like to know what mic you're using. Uh, as I'm, I'm sure it's probably hard to draw right and kind of talk into the microphone unless you're kind of doing it with a, with a microphone arm. Um, but again, the quality of these videos are great. They're a little dark, uh, but again, I'm not sure how hard that is to get you know, natural lighting into the room to, to kind of show kind of what he's drawing. But again, Beanie is doing a really, really good job branding his channel. Um, and he's got a, a channel intro video here, which is important. Uh, over 12,000 subscribers. 
Um, let's take a look at his channelytics here. Yeah, he's pretty consistent, you know, 10, 15 subs a day. Uh, seems like everybody has a nice spike going on uh, after hol after the Thanksgiving uh, break here. People kind of watching YouTube, consuming content, uh, and doing that. Uh, Beanie, again, I've looked at your channel before. Under the About section, again, very, very well formatted here. Over 3.4 million video views. He's got his Instagram and Twitter, which are probably his two most important links that he wants people to go to, as well as his email address. Uh, again, Maybe work on the, the, the text onto your thumbnails um, as well as, let's see here, what else you got going on? Thumbnails are pretty good. You got your your, your series that you got going on. Uh, looks like you haven't put one on in a while on a thumbnail. Just make sure you're staying consistent with your playlist. But yeah, Beanie's got mad skills. I'd give him probably an A minus right now. Only improvement, again, would be probably just the lighting on the videos, uh, the thumbnail text, and just a few kind of minor details. But Beanie's doing a great, great job. Uh, next, we have another channel review. Coming in from Lord Blaze 11 Lord Blaze 11 Let's see here. All right, the channel artwork here needs to be revised. Uh, again, I, I understand you're probably a Minecraft YouTuber, but again, putting a picture of a, a blocky guy here from Minecraft probably doesn't do you any favors. Uh, LB, your logo needs to be kind of blown up and expanded more. It's really hard for me to look in there and see that exactly what those letters are. Uh, and so definitely check that out there. I'm not sure if, if anyone has taken Lord Blaze, but you know, only having 13 subs, you might want to try to get Lord Blaze if, if it's available. Um, and uh, definitely one of those things that I would look at as far as like, you know, having 11. That's one thing that I changed on my channel. Uh, mine was Technology Guru 77. I went back when I could change the name and made it Technology Guru. And I've seen that it's really, really improved the, the speed at which I can grow. So take off the 11. And you can probably show up, you know, better in search results. Um, on your videos, thumbnails, you don't have very many videos here. Uh, you haven't done one in a month. Um, again, thumbnails are kind of all over the place. Do a little more branding here. Um, what else do we have here? Um, nothing. Minecraft YouTuber. You want to do more here in your About section. Um, basically, here's the deal. Um, your about section is is extremely important, um, very critical. So definitely check that out. Uh, you want to do a better job with your about section there. Uh, I'd probably give you a C or a C minus. Again, you're you're just not consistent, right? Like you haven't uploaded it in in a month, um, and so definitely want to stay more consistent in kind of what you're doing. So, all right, we got two more. Get this one in one more, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll close out here. Um, all right, next one's coming in from Photo Joseph. Photo Joseph, Joseph. Sorry. Uh, I love the avatar. Love the avatar. You got a picture of, I assume that's yourself with a top hat and kind of facing this way. Really cool avatar. Um, again, I know your channel's about photography. You got a nice camera here, probably the Lumix GH5, which is an awesome camera, by the way, that you probably use. But I would do a little branding here. Maybe even put your avatar picture up here in the blank space, or maybe do a logo over here, or maybe a kind of a, a gradient fade into the camera, something cool like that. Um, but you know, do a little more branding up here, because this is where people are going to look and, and where they come. Honestly, if you want to know my opinion, this isn't about his channel, um, but I really dislike the new, the new YouTube layout for channels. Um, I don't know. What are your guys' opinions about that? Um, it just seems like everything's kind of, I don't know. It's not as neat and put together, you know, like I, I liked the older, the older one better. It just seemed like everything was more compact and it looked nicer. This one's kind of blown up. I don't know. That was kind of my, my, my opinion on that. Um, under videos here, it looks like your thumbnails are all very similar. You got the, uh, a bunch of text in them. I uh, like, uh, yeah, no, the text is okay. I like the big, big white text here. Um, I love the beard, man. If that's you, I love the beard. Uh, let's take a look at your uh, video quality here. Um, I like the intro. I like the way you kind of do a call to action. Audio is really nice. Video is really crisp. You're a creative person, I can tell. Um, let's take a look at your about section here. Uh, you've got links to like your photo website, which is perfect if you want to get you know book gigs. Um, you know you got a decent about me section. Maybe maybe relook at that and see what more you can do. Uh, let's take a look at your analytics here. See what's going on. Yeah, look at you, man. Over 20, 30, 35 subs a day. Um, you're doing something, man. You got over a million video views, 550 videos. You've pumped them out. Awesome, man. 
awesome. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely work on your about me section. Um, get your links up here, which I like. Probably give you a B right now, uh, Joseph. Just work on your thumbnails and, and maybe take a look at some more stuff you can do. Uh, playlists look pretty good, uh, but you know, branding is super spot on. You probably want to do some more with your channel banner up here. But overall, you got you to get a B for me, man. Again, what it's worth, you're doing some really good job. All right, let's take a look here. The last one that I'm going to do, or probably last one that I'm going to do, is this one right here. Oh, <laughs> oh, Andrew, link to my channel here. Let's review. Let's review. <laughs> uh, so this guy, Technology Guru, I like his branding up here. Got some nice branding here. Got some thumbnails of some tech stuff. Got a link over here to the podcast. You could definitely work on his thumbnails. Uh, definitely think a little, little, little happy on the text uh, with, uh, with going on here. Uh, he does make good use of thumbnails, like learning how to stream on Twitch, learning how to do uh, YouTube tutorials. Got his podcast, uh, you know, playlist here. Uh, let's look at his about section. Got a really good fleshed out about section here with his email website going on here. Uh, probably a few too many links. <laughs> uh, 36 mil video views though, so he's doing all right. Um, let's take a look at his channel analytics. Um, let's see here. What do we have here? Um, 190 subs, you know, over a hundred subs a day. You know, he's doing pretty good. You know, he's, he, he probably could do some stuff to improve his, his tags and whatnot. Uh, but I'd say I'd give myself a B or a B minus right now. Um, Andrew, you know, what's, what's Andrew saying about me right now? What's he saying about me? Um, with, 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 uh, with the, with the podcasting, uh, should we get him on stream? Unsure. <laughs> oh man. I love YouTube. I love doing what I do. I love podcasting. I love doing all of this. Uh, might need to review. There is one above. I would love to do. I know Andrew. <laughs> I don't know if Andrew's talking about me. Andrew, is that, is that good for today? As far as the channel reviews, was there one more that I missed that I should have done? Let me know in Skype. We'll get to your channels next time. Guys, we were almost a hundred strong all stream long. I love, love, love that. Uh, let's go full screen. Boom. You can see me full screen, all big and, uh, big and big and bad here. Oh, let's see what else we got going on here. Andrew sent me one more. Let's take a look at what Andrew sent me here. Did you guys enjoy this? Would you like me to do more of this, more channel reviews, more Q&As like this? We've got like 30 questions I didn't answer. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? Oh, Sabby BGTV. Uh, he's very active in chat. So let's take a look at Sabby's channel real quick before I have to go. Um, all right, Sabby, up here, I would say with your text, you, you've got like literally you've got six different fonts right here. So in your in your channel banner here, you've got one font, two font, three fonts, four fonts, five fonts, six fonts, seven font, eight font. Definitely streamline your fonts. So <laughs> you definitely want to kind of see what more you can do with your fonts there uh, as far as that go as far as that goes. Um, thumbnails are okay. A little texty, a little too much text. I'm not sure if that color, the yellow on that orange looks that great. You might want to kind of tinker around, uh, with, with some new stuff. Uh, but, uh, but definitely check out with that. You've got kind of a bunch of different colors running together here. Uh, but, uh, but definitely check that out. And as far as your banner goes, you definitely want to look at the different fonts going on there. Uh, I like the, the bell there. You got the, the notification bell, the notification squad. Uh, but, uh, but definitely check that out. Uh, your about section here. What do we got here? Uh, it's a little wordy, but uh, don't worry about putting all these social links here. That needs to be done down here in the links section because these really can't be clicked on. Um, and it's kind of hard to see as far as, you know, I, I got to click this link and then right click it and then go to that link. Check that out. Um, again, uh, let's take a look at one of your videos, see how you're doing here. Um, let's see. Looks like you're doing interviews. You're interviewing people on the streets. Uh, you got kind of a background going on there. Seems like you're using a, a Zoom recorder to catch your audio. Yeah, the quality's okay, but if you're going to do something like this, you, you definitely, there's people doing this all over the world, uh, but uh, you want your quality. Oh, that, that video here looks much better here. The quality on this video looks really good. Uh, I like what you're doing. You've already got 22,000 subscribers. Looks like you got a nice little intro going on there. I'd give you about a B or a B minus. Continue to improve your branding because right now it's a little... It's, it's a little bit of a, a mismatch. Uh, you know, if you went back to my channel, I just reviewed joking around, you know, giving myself a B or a C. Uh, I have the Tech Guru banner in blue with a, with a, with a gradient. Definitely check that out. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep all my thumbnails branded as well. Um, other than that, man, 
you know, looks like you're doing a really good job. Guys, what an awesome stream this has been. We'll do it again. We'll check it out again. We, we've been 100 strong, 33 uh, messages per minute, which is huge for us. Um, we had a big turnout today. So, so excited. If you want to check me out, find me out. Uh, you can't just find me. If you can't, you can find me on the Technology Guru YouTube channel. Uh, you can also find me on the uh, the podcast realm. I do a, a podcast called the YouTube Creator Sub Podcast. And I also do one called Tube Buddy Express, uh, which I missed last week because of the holidays, Thanksgiving, but I'm going back hot and heavy starting yes tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow's episode is all about live streaming and utilizing Super Chat to help. Uh, help you monetize and make more money. And then I had one thing I wanted you guys to hear. I'm not sure if you could hear hear it or not. But I wanted you guys to I had my daughter do a I'm going to show you guys something here. I'm going to search for YouTube on iTunes here. And this is kind of off the cuff, but I really wanted you guys to uh to take a look at take a listen to this. So, all right, listen to this. This is this is uh, this is my daughter. So I had her intro. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this very well or not. Uh, but I had my daughter intro me in this week's. Here's here's the podcast here on iTunes. Um, I, I had my daughter intro me on the podcast here, and let's see if you guys can hear it. You probably can't hear it that great, but I'll I'll do my best here. So here 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 it goes. Here is about a six or seven second clip from my beautiful and lovely daughter, Macy. Uh, I wanted to get her on the podcast, and so she's introducing me. If you can't translate, translate, you need to translate me. If you can't translate kids speak, uh, basically she says, welcome to the show, and here is my daddy. With all of that said and all of that out of the way, let me cue this princess. Hey, what do you <laughs> what do you think about that? That's awesome, right? That's 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 why I love that's why I love creation. Uh, you can't hear anything too muffled to hear. Ah, oh, man, go check it out. Go check this week's. Uh, go check out this week's episode. I, I wish it was. Uh, I wish I kind of had it in. Uh, but I'm sure some people could hear it. Some couldn't. But man, it was awesome. I love creating stuff. I love making podcasts. This has been another amazing, amazing stream with you guys here, the Tube Community, the Tube Buddy Community. Don't forget to check me out. All my links, everything going on. Love you guys. Thank you so much for consuming my content, allowing me to do what I do. Thank you to Phil. Thank you to Andrew. The whole Tube Buddy crew. And until next time, guys, keep pressing that record button and I will see you guys next month.